midst of an education funding crisis. They claim that they are keeping uh, cash per pupil the same, but every reputable body that looks at the costs in education, the Institute for Financial Studies being one of them, says that that means an 8% real terms cut. The situation for children when they are 16 to 19 is so much worse. Since 2010, there has been a 14% cut already, and then the 8% cut I've talked about comes on top of that. There's been an increase in national insurance and pensions that colleges have to pay, about 150,000 a year. On top of that, we lose 300,000 on average per college for them not paying our VAT bills on goods and services, which schools actually get away with, they don't need to pay that. Already, more than 70% of sixth form colleges have increased class sizes. More than 80% of sixth form colleges have stopped courses. The document the government put out says that they want larger, more efficient providers, which means they want to reduce the number of sixth form college and FE colleges in the country. You either go through an area review with the possibility of you having to merge with another college, but you still have to pay your VAT. One third of sixth form college principals say their colleges will become financially unviable in the next few years, and that underlies where these plans for merger are coming from. There are many examples where these mergers have not saved money. strike about um, covering a class cover and how it adds an extra burden to your timetable, we won. It was very effective. We're under enough pressures as it is and we are doing the very best that we can. It's a bit like I suppose we're striking because um, if it's not broken why are you trying to fix it? Looking at wonderful people here in this room who are committed educationalists, withdrawing your labour means that the Tories can't win because everybody needs their teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you.